crossed over into California. It is crazy to think that a year ago, on September 4th, 2015, Joe and I were driving to our last day of work together. Uh, Joe is actually going through some old footage and he found our first attempt at trying to vlog on our last day of work. We wanted to share the video with you guys um, as a look back to where we were a year ago and what that was like driving to work um, and how we were feeling. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and for those of you who don't know about our Live Life on Your Own Term series, we will link to that in this video. Friday morning, September 4th, is it? Uh, yes. September 4th and Joe and I are driving to our last day of work together. The very last day for me, it's been over 10 years, so I'm kind of excited, sad, all of the above. Um, we had a nice happy hour last night, so anyone who's watching this who came last night, thank you very much. I had a great time. This is a part where you talk. I have nothing to say. <laughs> Why are you filming this? Because we need practice. Oh. <laughs> this is going to work out great. What do I I'm have so, to say? I'm so happy we I... didn't get a reality show or anything. People would have been like, uh... <laughs> you can speak for both of us. I do think it's kind of fun that we get to drive to work together. On our last, last day. day. Too bad it wasn't on the motorcycle. Yeah. I miss commuting with you on the motorcycle. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. We have an hour commute ahead at of least. us, at least. And then drop Joe off, then I get to drive another 45 minutes to my job. <laughs> it should be a fun morning. Do you have a cup of coffee every morning on your drive to work? Yes. What happens if you forget? I turn around and go back and get it. That's amazing. So, this dent, I left the coffee on the back of the Jeep one morning and I drove over it. It survived. That's a pretty epic thing to have happened to your favorite coffee tumbler. I know, I was freaked out that I lost my coffee, but it was still in there. More importantly, you <laughs> needed the coffee to stay in. The coffee survived. What has your typical morning commute been like for the last 10 years? Most of the time I was riding my motorcycle, so like this guy. The people that ride in between the cars, that was me. I would get to work in about mm, 35 minutes, 35, 40 minutes, depending on how fast I rode. And that was nice. And my back started giving me problems, so I had to last couple years of been driving. Driving is a nightmare because it'll take an hour and a half both ways. So there's three hours of my life down the drain. Um, and in order to stay sane, I have my coffee and I also have podcasting. And that's pretty much what keeps me sane going back and forth to work every day three hours in the car. So you're really going to miss this? No. <laughs> I'll miss, I'll have to find time to put, get some podcasts in, but I will have my coffee relaxing in the RV, doing something else, reading a book, but I'm not going to miss sitting in traffic for three hours a day. On the 405. On the 405. It's been a nightmare. first attempt it took us four months to produce our first vlog for this YouTube channel hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully we've come a long way since then thank you guys so much for watching as we come up to our one-year anniversary of being on the road uh, we left September 13th 2015 we will be sharing a lot of videos with you guys about our first year on the road so stay tuned for those thanks for watching see you next time